Welcome back to the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. I'm just getting ready to frame in a top of a window here. Thought maybe you'd want to come along for it. Let's see if I can get you set up. I'm not sure when the camera went out. As the old joke says, I kept cutting these and they were still too short. <laughs> Actually, I was cutting them and they, because there was a little bit of a hump in my uh, top of my header there, I had to cut them a little bit uh, shorter than what I had anticipated originally. But what I'm doing is I'm putting a triple header in here, two by 10, 
sandwiches them all together because they're rough stock. And I just have a half inch shim in between the last piece. Putting the uh, two by six top and bottom to get a nice square edge and then filling in above. Now some people don't put the cripples there to continue the jack stud up through because these are called king studs. These here are your king stud, go straight through, these are your jack studs. And then underneath are your cripples that are running underneath of there. Some people will double that bottom. Um, I generally don't, uh, but you can for, you know, if you're putting trim on. I just, uh, because I'm filming everything and I know everything's on 16 inch centers, I, I find it when I'm nailing in my, my uh, molding. And so that's basically completed one. Now this one over here, I haven't finished because I still, I kept forgetting to get the measurement of my beam going in there. So I need to get that uh, sorted out. But uh, yeah, this is a typical three, uh, three, five window or 3050 window and so now I'm going to get ready and I'm going to frame another section of wall here I do have to put one more stud in here now that I've got all the nails in this I, I left that stud out so I could work and nail my header in now I'm going to stand that stud in and finish putting the blocking in I'll bring you along for that
Okay, I want to explain what I was doing there. Um, I had a couple studs here that were a little crooked. These, this stuff is with, where the studs that were on the top of my pile, and of course anything on the top is going to have a tendency to twist a bit. They were fairly straight, upright, like as far as on their edges, but they just had a twist to them. So I put I put those blocks in. I put the center blocks in anyway. But when I put the the pipe clamps on those and pull and pull these in tight, as you can see here, all of those are pulled in tight. When you do that, because these are square, um, it pulls those studs in in straight. So you can look down across that, and what it does is straightens your wall out. Now, it takes a little bit of time, but hey, this is my forever home, and I wanted to make sure that the walls are nice and straight. My lumber is dry. I mean, it's down to 9%, 10%, 12%, somewhere around there. It's, I'm not concerned about it moving now that it's, it's in place. So once I get everything screwed in place, um, I should have some straight walls. Now, I have got to do a little bit of planing here. There are a couple 2x6 uh, here that are a little bit wider than others, and that just goes to the drying process. When I plane them, they may not have been rayed at the same uh, dryness or humidity. So I'll bring you along just for a little bit of that. It's not a lot, but I just touch up here and there, and I'll show you after. Okay, it took six or eight minutes, but I'll show you. It goes from rocking and bouncing to being on. Now I do know that that sh this stud right here that I'm pointing at, sorry I've got two hands going here, uh, needs to be shimmed out a bit. It's a little bit narrow, but pretty well Everything else, you look down across it, and these studs are on. So, of course, I also look at it upright. Anything that needs to be, so there's no gaps there. So, it takes a little bit of, a little bit of time, but when you're done, you've got a, a really nice job. So, hopefully little tutorial and framing a window and I just got to repeat that about 10 times around around the perimeter to get the walls done but once they're framed just see the outside and keep going up so appreciate you joining me uh, for a short video I'm try I'll try to make the videos a little longer I know some of you have been commenting on it I have ordered some new equipment Finally, for my 
YouTube channel to be able to set the camera up and run longer so uh, and have it in better angles because everything that I do up to this point I've been just kind of setting on blocks and stuff so uh, I will try to um, improve that so I appreciate you kind of working with me uh, but until then uh, bear with me and hopefully we'll see you in the next video coming out in the next couple days so until then as always you have a great day